your thoughts on all of that this week, of course, you can get in touch with us via Twitter, you can email us as always, but every week we look at missing people as well. It's a really important part of, of, of what we're doing here, is it, to, to try and get these missing people some sort of contact with their families again. Yeah, it is. Uh, and we've already had some success, well, I'm hoping to report on in the next couple of weeks. But first today, I'd like to talk about 13 years ago, a Glyn Taylor from Spalding in Lincolnshire was, was a 21-year-old physics undergraduate with a bright future. But without warning, he just disappeared. He was last seen at 3.30pm on July the 11th, 2001, walking along Quadring Bank towards Donington, having abandoned his car, which had broken down. He appeared to be heading home, but actually just didn't arrive. Glyn had recently completed a first-year physics degree at Loughborough University, and friends and families describe him as independent and a likeable young man, and they're really anxious to hear that he's safe and well. His mother, Susan Holder, insists that there was no reason for him to vanish. She said he was a good son, he never had any problems with him, he always used to ring me when he went back to university. Somebody knows where he is. So if this picture jogs your memory, he has piercing blue eyes and is about six foot inches, sorry, six foot two inches tall. Please get in touch if you think you've seen him. And mother of three, Diane Titheridge, left her home in Bicker, Lincolnshire on the 25th of June, shortly before 6am, and she was off to work at the Pilgrim Hospital in Boston, but never arrived. She did call in to say she wouldn't be coming in and hasn't been in touch with anyone since. CCTV footage at Boston bus station confirms that she caught a bus to Stade Ness, arriving just after 10am. And despite local police di distributing posters and leaflets, that the last sighting of her. The police and her family are urging Diane to please get in touch. Her youngest daughter has flown in for her home in Australia to be with the family, and the three children made this emotional appeal. Mama, we are all worried sick about you. We love you more than words can say, and we're here to support you. Please get in touch with one of us so we know that you're safe. We love you. And finally, Jamie Horn from South London was last seen at 3.30pm in Lewisham on June the 26th, just a few weeks ago. There was a possible sighting of him on Blackheath Common on July the 8th. Worried friends and family have started an online campaign to help find Jamie. He's about six foot tall and was wearing blue jeans, trainers and a black t-shirt when he went missing. Friends have posted online to say that he may now have a beard. And Jamie, if you are watching, please let your friends and family know you're okay. There's a lot of love out there for you, and people just want to know that you're safe and happy. Now, if you have any information about any of these people, please call the Missing People Charity on 116-000, or use hashtag Crime News Watch. Jackie, let's hope there's just that glimmer of hope for the family is just wanting an answer there. That's all it is sometimes, yeah. Jackie, thanks very much indeed. If you missed any of this week's Crime UK, you can watch again on Sky News for iPad, of course. You can also find it on our catch-up service. Just make sure your Sky Plus HD box is connected to broadband. Jackie, thank you. We've got a lot coming up.